It's no Malia Richardson is tough. She's a she's a winner. She's a she's a kid that's obviously fought through a lot of adversity, but but uh, you know Mel has, has been great for our program, and, and she's you know there's not a lot of adjectives to describe just how important she is to us. And you know Brittany Atkins, people have never gotten to see her play at her level because of her injuries, and I'm just proud of the fact that she has stayed with it and fought through it and played through a lot of pain. And Sarah Shark's been a, a role player and a starter, a starter for us, and, and has done good things and had good moments. And and uh, you know Jess Davies is obviously the most improved player on our team from last year to this year in terms of her productivity this year. So you know, and then and then you know you lose Sarah Ledbetter, who who uh, early in the year when she was healthy was really mainstay player for us. So you know, those are five quality kids and we'll you know we'll have to work hard to replace those kids. Up top for Rowan felt a crossover step back three point shot is good. She's pretty good early on. Boy she has a stroke. She goes right to the left side again, missed it, got her own rebound, put back is way too strong, but a follow by Rowan felt is good. Good job by KT to crash the glass. Down low, here's Davies, powers away, shovels it. Here's Malia, she'll try a three left wing. Got it! Malia Richardson. You start giving her too many layups in his own here. Here's a layup allowed on the opening possession as Atkins attacks from the right elbow. Across the lane, she will score a chance for a three-point play. You see him back up by 240-38. KT step back for three. The shot is good. Katrina Rowenfeld's got 19 now, and she has tremendous rhythm. She is now an 8 of 11 shooting the basketball. Fleming right by Davies to the basket, and her layup is good, and she's fouled. That's the matchup that we've talked about all night long. That's a tough one for Missouri Western. Cut off with 11 to shoot. Bob and Allo for Skaggs over the top. Great catch and score. 9 nothing run. Killed Missouri Western here in this one. They've had a hard time matching up. Now Fleming tries a three, makes the three, and Missouri Western now down 12 points just like that. Tom Smith, I'm Dave Rigger back at our Eastfield Shopping Center courtside seats. Here's a three. Here's a three from KT, and she can get you right back into the basketball game. 25 now for KT. Griffin's down eight with a basketball. Minute 50 left. KT's going to pull the long two. Shot is good. It's down to six. It was only a two-point shot, though. KT now with 27 in the game. Now they find Malia. She'll take a three left wing. It is no good. Rebound by KT. Layup is up, and it's good. It's a one-possession game. we got to get some more productivity around it. You know, she's she's carrying the burden on offense, and we got to get a couple other kids to step up. But, um, you know, there's no doubt she's a special player. Is she the best guard in the league, in my opinion? I don't think there's any doubt she's the best guard in the league. And the clock runs out, and that will do it. Good effort by Missouri Western. They were in it the entire basketball game against a really good team. They show they can compete with about anybody, but not able to get a victory here tonight. They fall to the 24th-ranked Jennies by a final score of 74 to 68. Missouri Western drops to 12 and 12, and they are now 7 and 8 in MIAA play.